All right, hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for some more Photoshop tutorials talking about how to remove acne from your photos and other skin blemishes or any blemish in any photo that you might not want to have there anymore, either a tear, a rip, a piece of acne, a mole, what have you. This can get rid of all of it. And the simple answer is all you need inside of the most recent version of Photoshop is the spot healing brush tool, which is this little band-aid icon right here. And what this is going to allow us to do is after I click on the layer that contains our photo of this lady, is I can literally just use our little brush here to paint over any unsightly red spot on her face. And Photoshop's gonna do this fun little thing where it looks at all of the surrounding pixels and says, I think, this spot is actually supposed to look like this. And it does a remarkably good job in a lot of different situations of removing unsightly blemishes. If for whatever reason you find that it's not really pulling the right pixels, it's not drawing from the right information, you can press and hold on this button and you can use the healing brush tool. Now, what exactly does the healing brush tool do that's different than the other? It's more or less the same thing. The only difference is the pixels that it looks at, you can hold the Alt key down to get this little targeting reticle, and you can click on a spot that you want it to reference in order to paint over a specific spot. It's an awful lot like the clone stamp tool, which is like this. It just doesn't use any fancy AI to clean things up. It literally just copies over whatever it sees. And these two tools are going to do a whole lot of work to get rid of all of your unsightly blemishes. Now let's say you have a big patch, don't have a lot of time, and you wanna do some heavy lifting relatively quickly. That's what the healing patch tool is. Think about it like cutting out a chunk of leather and then gluing it over top another chunk of leather. Not to say that your face is like a chunk of leather, but I mean, it kinda is, but for the cases of digital stuff, you're just trying to take a piece and paste it over another piece. So to do this, I'll just check a little spot of her chin down here. I'll just select it with this like I'm using the lasso tool and I'll click and drag it to the spot that I want to use as reference material. And this is a good way to go ahead and do a large area relatively quickly without having to individually paint over every single point. Now it's worth mentioning that I've actually done a little boo-boo down here that you might've picked up on. And that is, I've cleaned up her chin, but I've also ended up putting a lot of her pores from the upper part of her face down here into her chin. So this is where I'd have to think tactfully. I'll have to say, well, this section of her chin is actually relatively clean, so let's actually clean up this part in smaller chunks first, and then I can use this as reference material for the other side of her face. This would be something that you would do if you had a friend or a family member or even a picture of yourself where you had a lot of old acne scarring that you wanted to get rid of because you no longer have it. And what you do is you'd clean up one part of the face and then you use that as reference material or a foundation to repair the rest of the face. Sometimes it's so bad you even have to reconstruct it using an entirely different face altogether. So now that this is mostly clean on the other side, I'll use this side of her chin to clean up her right side of her chin. And this will do a pretty decent job, so long as I'm not copying over any details that you can clearly see are from another part of her face. So if I had like a duplicate line, like these two lines that appear over here, and they're distinctive enough, people are gonna know if they look at this picture long enough that I have been cheating with Photoshop magic and they must never know that I am, in fact, a diabolic Photoshop warlock, not until it's too late, and I've already Photoshopped their head onto the body of a corgi. Cannot be allowed. And you can use these different tools in a number of different ways to slowly paint out different portions of a face, which is helpful when you're blending between skin tones so you don't just go from pink to, like, a really deep tan on certain people, depending on what area of their body that you might be editing. This, a lot of these rules go for a lot of different subject matters, whether they be clothes, backgrounds, environments. The trick tends to be doing it slowly, methodically, 
and trying to blend it and use different points as much as you can so it all looks perfectly natural. We're looking for O oh, natural here on the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. And this is really all you need to do. Just grab these in little chunks, little by little, and my goodness, she already looks spick and span like she's got the best acne treatment money you can buy. And that's basically how you use the healing patch tool to remove different bits of acne and other skin blemishes from a subject, along with a few of my notes on how to do that quickly, efficiently, and make it look splendiferous when you're done. If you have any questions or comments about this process, or you might want me to take a look at an image that you're working on to see if I have any suggestions, by all means, put those down in the comment section below. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and happy Photoshopping!